So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how we can use a simple Ubuntu virtual machine and then use uh, several different really cool technologies, uh, one of which is K3S, which is a very lightweight Kubernetes distribution from Rancher, K3D, which is a command line utility that allows us to spin up K3S inside of plain old Docker containers, and then we're going to look and see how we can take that environment and spin up a real-world workload, such as running Portainer inside of that uh, K3S cluster. The workstation that I have configured, I've got an Ubuntu 22.04, the newly released uh, Ubuntu workstation LTS version, loving it so far in my testing. And I've got that installed in a VMware virtual machine, VMware workstation virtual machine. I've got a local Linux admin user that I've created I've added it to the sudo users group. As you can see, I've already installed Docker. If we do a dash dash version, we can see we've got Docker installed, but I have yet to install a uh, kubectl. So I'm going to pull down a uh, kubectl, and then we are going to change the uh, execution attribute and then move that to our local user path. Next, we want to install K3D. Now, K3D is, again, just a simple one-liner uh, that we're going to uh, put into our terminal here. We're going to install K3D. So we can make sure that we've got K3D installed correctly. We can just issue the command K3D. And we should see all the parameters for the command line utility, which we're, we're going to use in just a moment. There is just a simple one-liner command that we can use uh, to create a test cluster uh, using K3S. And to do that, I'm going to uh, just paste in the command and then we're going to talk through what we have going on here. Very straightforward. You just simply issue the K3D cluster command, create, then you give the uh, create command the name of the cluster that you want to build. And then we give it an API port, which is standard uh, Kubernetes 6443. We're telling it that we want to create one server, which in the K3S world or K3D using K3S world, the server is the control and management plane. Then the agents parameter is our worker nodes. So we are creating one control plane node and then also one worker node. Now, the last part of this, we're simply exposing a, a range of node ports that we're going to use for our workload. So in other words, how are we going to expose services? This is the syntax that you use uh, to expose those uh, node ports for our server. So it's uh, at sign server uh, colon zero. After executing, we're going to see K3D working to spin up this cluster inside of Docker containers using that K3S distribution of Kubernetes. Now, as you can see, just a couple of minutes later, we have a successful creation of our uh, K3D cluster. So we can uh, use our kubectl commands uh, to start looking at our cluster. So we can start uh, issuing commands like kubectl cluster info and we see the information regarding our Kubernetes cluster. We can do kubectl get nodes. We can see indeed that we have a uh, control plane node and then a worker node uh, provision. We can run a kubectl get pods to take a look at all the pods that are running that were provisioned. So now let's take a look at running a real-world workload inside of our uh, K3D created K3S cluster. So we can use Portainer to test out running a real-world workload inside of our Kubernetes cluster. So I'm simply on the docs.portainer.io website regarding installing Portainer with Kubernetes on your self-managed infrastructure, which is what we want to do. So I'm simply just going to copy this command from the site. And as we can see, we've got uh, the installation was successful. The uh, pod has entered the running state. So as we can see, we've got Portainer, we've got the pod, it's in the running state currently. So that means that we're, we're good to go. We're going to browse out to that port in our browser. So 58, 
3779. And again, we see that we've got a certificate error, so that tells us we've, uh, we've got connectivity. We're going to accept the risk, and we are live with Cortainers. As you can see, in just a matter of minutes, on a simple Ubuntu virtual machine running inside a VMware workstation or your hypervisor of choice, you can easily get your hands on Kubernetes clusters, uh, seeing how those pieces and parts fit together. And if you're like me, just seeing these and getting your hands on those in a lab environment is what really helps you to wrap your mind around some of these technologies. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit like and subscribe to the channel, and I hope to uh, create more content around uh, Kubernetes, containers, enterprise technologies of all kinds. So, Brandon Lee once again, and I hope to see you guys soon.